Good morning everyone. Getting ready to do the crystal reading for the week of July 14th. Um, it's a little bit rainy outside today so I chose to do it in the basement of my home where it's nice and cozy. I've got a few candles lit to kind of set the tone for the reading of this week and let's just go have a look and see what it has to say. Okay, so we have Lipidolite, Rutilated Quartz, Hypersteen, and Picture Jasper. And uh, so I've picked these three together, which is going to lead to the final outcome of this one. This is how I'm connecting them. And uh, the first one, which is Lipidolite, is about letting go to move on, but more specifically, um, moving on through forgiveness. So forgiveness is an aspect of letting go, so you have to forgive the people around you that have affected you in a certain way that you may not have favored. And um, the most important part also is to forgive yourself, because a lot of times we're involved in scenarios where we may have been at fault or may have contributed or maybe just have felt helpless to have been part of that situation and so we still have to forgive ourselves to even have put ourselves through um, whatever we went through that we're still holding on to so the forgiveness is in all aspect it's it's forgiving the scenario forgiving the people that affected us and also forgiving ourselves it's kind of coming to an understanding that whatever you're carrying, whether it's a grudge or anger or frustration towards that situation or person, is coming to an understanding that it served its purpose. There was a reason behind it. And so to have the forgiveness is going to allow that understanding to come through and, and help you to move on. Now, with this next stone here, it talks about the people that are around you more specifically, right? Because the Rutilated Quartz is all about the people that are around you, your entourage, your support team. So perhaps in this light, because the two are, are very connected and because I've kind of picked all three of them together, I see it more as the forgiveness of the others that are around you. Like I've just mentioned, you have to come to an understanding of why those people were in your life and why they've put you through what they've put you through because it made you who you are today so all that through the forgiveness and coming to a sense of understanding gives you or sheds a different light I should say it allows you to see things from a different perspective when you shift your perspective it's easier to do that forgiveness and come to that understanding so that's what the main focus on is on this week is all about shifting your perspective to allow that forgiveness to come through for the people around you that you're still kind of carrying that um, anger or frustration towards. That's going to bring you towards the end of the week. If you're able to shed all that. It's going to allow you to have sort of a cleaning out the closet, so to speak in regards to your mind, your emotions, right? So cleaning out those feelings that are leaving you icky, cleaning out those thoughts in regards to those people. And a lot of times we'll say, yeah, but, you know, yeah, I understand that it served its purpose and it made me that way, but I still wish I wouldn't have gone through that or they wouldn't have done that to me. And that yeah, but is the biggest thing you can get rid of. That's, that's, that digging in your closet to get rid of that you know yeah I understand but you know uh, it's still holding you back so if you can forgive those people that are, are around you that you know should be there to support you but maybe you feel that they're not 
try to see it from a dip different perspective. Try to see it from their shoes, where they're at, and why they, they can't provide you with what you're looking for. And forgive them, because that's going to allow that digging into your closet, getting rid of those skeletons that have been there for a long time, and uh, all those barriers to be broken down in order for you to move forward. So that about sums it up. Hope you enjoy the reading once again. Enjoy the rest of your week, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.